People fear what the Bible says because they think what the Bible says is literally true. For example, the Bible says that snakes and donkeys talk, but in reality there's absolutely no evidence for this. The Bible speaks of a virgin birth and a resurrection from the dead when in reality there's absolutely no evidence for this claim. With this logic, we would have to believe every story that someone could conjure up without any evidence to back it up whatsoever. Why is this important? Just let people believe what they want to believe. Stop kicking a dead dog. The reason it's important is because in this day and age with the internet, we have an opportunity to lift the spell of superstition and ignorance. We have an opportunity to teach the masses about the division that has been perpetuated on the human family by means of religion and false superiority. Why should we accept the claims of any book on blind faith? Why is it that some person or religion always has a message from God for me? How about if God has a message for me, God tells me and not you? Make it make sense. So you're telling me that I have to rely on a book from an unknown source to know what I should believe. This is what happens when humans have no knowledge of self. They become highly exploitable and they're taught that their false identity lives on after their body dies. And the quality of that false identity's afterlife depends on how well you listen and obey the religion. Can you see how scary and dangerous this is? And those who profit and benefit from this scam do everything they can legally do to solidify this false identity and keep you in fear of losing it. Once again, you might ask, why does it matter what anybody else believes? I would counter that by asking, does truth, logic, and reason not matter to you? Why do you replace critical thinking with blind faith? Why do you replace logic with blind faith when it comes to what you would regard as the most important part of your life? your salvation. You don't have blind faith that your bills will magically get paid. Of course not. You do everything in your power to logically make it happen. And when people ask you questions, your response is always the same. Just have faith. You don't have the answers to the questions, but you believe anyway. And unfortunately, faith is no more reliable than a coin toss. Faith has led so many people astray. Sometimes when you have faith, you get lucky. Sometimes when you have faith, you get unlucky. Faith is an extremely unreliable tool in regards to religion and can often lead us into blind obedience to not so virtuous leaders who do not have our best interest at hand. So what's the solution? The solution is simple. We use our God-given brains to do unbiased research to the best of our ability, and we make truth our priority rather than blind faith. J. Reuben Clark, a Mormon leader, once said, If we have the truth, it cannot be harmed by investigation. If we have not the truth, it ought to be harmed. But yet those same leaders refuse to do any investigation themselves and continue to tell their members that they also have no reason to ask questions or do any research themselves. Can you see a problem here? Please tell me you see a problem here. Many churches will suggest that you pray about your concerns, questions, and doubts and that if you receive a good feeling about their church, the Holy Spirit is leading you in the right direction. But if you have a bad feeling about their church, that means you haven't prayed right, you haven't prayed enough, you've been deceived by the devil. Can you see the manipulative psychology of religion? The majority of people have no idea they are being manipulated, while the minority realize that feelings have no say in what's true or false, or what's even real. Feelings can be manipulated through music, movies, imagination, but should absolutely not be the determining factor in whether or not something is true or false. Until next time, my friends, be ye wise as serpents.